Baby boomers are on the move. Hitting the gym. Tennis balls. Running marathons. Riding bikes. But all that exercise comes at a price. Especially if you're, um, past a certain age. Every year, according to the CDC, almost two and a half million baby boomers go to emergency rooms for over-exercising. Orthopedists even have a name for it. Boomeritis. Every Wednesday, you'll find Dr. Letha Griffin in the OR repairing the damage. So what percentage of the patients you see are baby boomers? Just take this morning. I'll bet you out of 20 people we saw, there were at least five with in that baby boomer category that had problems that needed them solved because they wanted to keep exercising and keep going. And I'm not talking about sprained ankles here. Ruptured my calf muscle three times. I started having problems with my knee. I ruptured my Achilles tendon. I had my hip replaced. Nine and a half inch scar right here. Three shots, cortisone shots in my shoulder. I had no idea you could even pop your hamstring off the bone. I didn't either. But, but apparently you can. <laughs> it gives me shivers all over my <laughs> Yet they keep on keeping on. But for goodness sakes, why? It's keeping my mind active. It's exercise, which makes me very happy, and the people around me very happy when I get exercise, because <laughs> my endorphins are better. And, um, you know, and it's social. Paul McKinley has played tennis for 45 years. You want to keep it up. Maybe you don't want to admit that uh, you're getting to the point where you can't do it anymore. John Tackett runs marathons. Something must have gone wrong with your body. Well, actually, it went wrong in Boston. Uh, how about my, halfway through the uh, marathon, I started having problems with my knees. I looked down and my knee had swollen up to basically the size of a grapefruit. So okay, so up, on what mile did you notice your knee was the size of a about grapefruit? About mile 12. It took me almost five and a half hours to complete Boston, but I completed it. You're seeing a lot more people that want to stay active and fit. They're really taking care of themselves more, and if there's some reason they can't stay fit, they want to fix it. I don't want to give it up. I don't want to say, oh, okay, I got a knee injury. I can't do this anymore. John coming back, 16, 15. Just three days after our interview, John was just fine, finishing a 5K race in just over 26 minutes. Paul was back competing on the tennis court. When you whoop a person who's 10 or 15 years younger than you, how does that make you feel? Well, you just enjoy winning a tennis match. <laughs> it's not so much. But it's an extra zing, isn't it? It might be a little extra zing. As for Jenna, she's full speed ahead. I don't know that I'm ever going to finally have to let it go. <laughs> because if that happens, I'll be on morphine and it'll be <laughs> I'll be in some bed somewhere. 